Race number one of the afternoon, top of the stretch, has riding like you stole it. Brookdale Grace, J.J. Elvis, Coot Cobbler, Monster Magnet, a Lady by Chance, and Dusty Lane Sebastian. We're off and leaving the gate quickly from the outside. That's Monster Magnet, a Lady by Chance on the inside. Brookdale Grace into the first turn. They head to the opening eighth. They're three wide as they vie for the early lead. Down at the rail, that's Brookdale Grace in the center. Monster Magnet caught three high. That's a lady by chance. Who now sits two high second. Backing off is Brookdale Grace to pace along in at three. Next in line, riding like you stole it, gets away fourth. Rough gate it there. That was J.J. Elvis who now trails the field. Moving up into five was Dusty Lane Sebastian back in a six. Coot Cobbler and after the miscue trailing is J.J. Elvis. Seating arrangements complete as they race single file to the 3 eighths And out front, Monster Magnet will dictate the early pace, leading it by a length and a half. A lady by chance is giving chase second. And gapped out a bit third, that's Brookdale Grace. Opening quarter was 29 seconds flat as they travel on through the stretch, nearing the half, led by Monster Magnet. A lady by chance sitting in the garden spot, up on the outside, mounting a first over bid. That is Dusty Lane Sebastian, the two-year-old, riding like you stole it, will pick up that cover. And we'll get towed up into contention fourth. Inside fifth, that's Brookdale Grace. Back at the rail, Coot Cobbler is sixth. And well back in trailing, J.J. Elvis. Off stride went Brookdale Grace. They continue into the back stretch. Also off stride, Dusty Lane Sebastian. That knocks off riding like you stole it. Out front, Monster Magnet still there. Now to the outside from the pocket goes a lady by chance. Coot Cobbler up into three. Off stride, Dusty Lane Sebastian. Off stride, riding like you stole it. They continue on to the 7-8s, and it's Monster Magnet opening up now to 2. Lady by Chance is in pursuit. Second, Coot Cobbler back in 3. Then uh, Dusty Lane Sebastian is the fourth one. Inquiry sign is posted. 129 was the three quarters. They make the final turn, and it's Monster Magnet out on a 3-4 length lead. It's all Monster Magnet winning the first race. Finishing second here is a Lady by Chance, and the show spot, it will go to Coot Cobbler. Hold on to all tickets here in the opener. The inquiry sign is posted. Mile was 158 and one fifth. Judges are reviewing the first race, looking at the breaking horses. Inquiry sign is posted. Ready. So inquiry here in the opener. Uh, four of uh, seven horses in the opener making breaks there. And uh, you know what? Here's the five. Monster Magnet will be coming back for a winner's circle photo. Nothing in his program lines would suggest he'd go a trip today in 158 and 1. But uh, you know what? Uh, lining up going to the gate. He was right on the bit, and that is probably the only tell sign you could have used in, in playing him today. He's a $30 on the nose winner and uh, had a hard time pulling this fella up today. Uh, Greg Monroe on board for trainer Bernie McCollum, uh, Chuck Symes of Spring Hill, the owner. Monster Magnet gets his maiden victory, uh, and again, nothing through his program lines suggested he'd go a trip today in 158 and 1. But uh, if you had a look at him going to the gate, uh, Monroe was pretty much straight back on him and again following the mile hard time pulling this fella up he was very sharp today the uh, older horses finishing in the top four positions there you have it the experience showed up five six four and seven your top four and a really decent try payout most likely coming up here in the opener uh, coming back for a winner's circle the five monster magnet for the maiden victory
Now back in victory lane is the winner of race one, number five, Monster Magnet. He's a three-year-old big yellow son of Racing Hill. Well, by Chuck Symes of Spring Hill. Trained by Bernard McCollum. Driven this afternoon by Greg Monroe. Monster Magnet picking up a maiden mark of 158 and one-fifth. As a result of the inquiry in the first race, number seven, Dusty Lane Sebastian, did finish fourth and was placed seventh for causing interference to riding like you stole it while on a break, then was placed sixth. 
Also number three, J.J. Elvis, finished sixth, placed fifth, then placed seventh. Also for causing interference, hold on to break. On the four, Cool Cobbler and seven, Dusty Lane Sebastian. Top four finishers in the first will become five, six, four, and two. have it big prices to start up the action this afternoon at Shore Raceway. A $30 winner. Longest shot on the board takes the opener there. Uh, the older horses certainly got the best of the two-year-old pacers in the maiden uh, field there. 564 Triactor returning just shy of $500. The Exactor for two bucks came back at one ninety one seventy. You can turn the page on race number one at Truro Raceway, the second of nine coming up here in the post parade will be next. Here's the official rundown of race one. Number one, riding like you stole it. Finished seventh, placed sixth, then placed fifth. The two, Brookdale Grace, finished fifth, placed fourth. Three, J.J. Elvis, finished sixth, placed fifth, then placed seventh for causing interference while on a break. Four, Coot Cobbler was third. Five, Monster Magnet, the winner. Six, A Lady by Chance was second. Seven, Dusty Lane Sebastian finished fourth, placed seventh for causing interference on a break, and then placed sixth. Fractions for the first race, 29, 59, and 1. 129, the mile, 158, and 1 fifth. Your card should read from the top down after the placings, 547 